Today I'm going to give you two easy exercises to get you prepared for your knee replacement. The first exercise is called knee extension or seated kicks. What you want to do is get yourself sitting with your thighs supported but your knees free. You're going to straighten the knee out, feeling your muscle at the top of the thigh tighten and hold. Count to five and then you're going to lower it with control. A lot of people make the mistake of just kicking their leg and using momentum to move it back and forth. If you want to get the most bang for your buck, what you want to do is focus on the squeeze, the hold, and then the controlled return. The controlled return is important because that actually is still working the muscle against gravity to prevent it from dropping. So you're using the muscle as it lengthens and that is a really efficient and great way to strengthen the muscle. This is a super gentle exercise for anyone who has knee arthritis, so it should not be aggravating to the knee joint itself. So once again, you're going to squeeze as straight as you can, hold for five seconds, and then you're going to lower it with control over about three to four seconds back to the start. Don't forget to do your opposite side, even if it's not the one being operated on, because after surgery, this leg is going to be doing a lot of the work in that initial recovery phase. The second exercise to focus on is knee extension with your leg already in a straightened position. So in a seated position, your heel is resting on either the floor, your mattress, bed, whatever works for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to push your knee down, hold again for a count of five, and then instead of flopping like that, hold for that five count, and then you slowly let your heel return and the muscle soften at the top of the thigh. So once again, you push down, hold, 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 count to five, and release slowly. The reason this one is so good is that straight knee position makes it so that you can actually put full weight through your leg again. When you stand, if you have any amount of bend in the knee, the muscles have to work really hard in order to hold you up. So the straighter your knee can get into that uh, locked straight position, the safer you'll feel on that operated leg. Again, don't forget, do it on the opposite side because this is the leg that'll hold you up when you have had your surgery for those initial phases. Your aim is to do 10-ish repetitions, maybe two to three sets, but here's how to know if you're at the right amount of effort. If you get to this position and you've held for five seconds and you're getting the muscle quiver and then you can't control it as it returns back down, that means you've fatigued the muscle, you've worked it to its maximum, time to take a rest. So quality of movement is way more important than quantity. Don't bother doing 30 kicks like this. You won't get the benefit that you need. Focus on squeeze and hold and slow return. Do quality numbers up to 10, fatigue those muscles, and then switch over and do the other side. Any questions, comments, place them in the uh, comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're updated every time I post a new video about knee replacements. Have a wonderful knee pain-free day. Bye for now.